Remember when I said, it's always my luck. Oh, look who just ran out from the woods. The one I want's in the bottom of the pile. Well, here's a lazy way of doing it. All right, uh, so I'm up by the cabin site, July 8th. And I'm gonna just cut a hasty uh, um, diversion ditch up here because of all the water we're taking in. It's gonna need major excavation you know, once this project is done or once they start building or after the fact, but you could see they had to excavate down here. So I need to get a ditch from like roughly right here or up the hill. So I might just cut one right up here in this gravel right across there and hopefully they can get going and back on this project. All right, up at the uh, cabin site. Not sure if Sharon was saving this one or not. Fourth of July weekend and the blackberries, the wild ones, are just starting to ripen. So the trick is getting to them before the birds do. Well, it is wild blackberry season. So you gotta pretty much go through every one. Oh, but they are good. You can see why the birds like them. Man, something likes all this heat and rain better than me. Let me grab a few of these. Yep, definitely berry season. Good problem to have. Can I take credit? Oh, yeah. Got us a lizard. Watch out, I might let loose all of a sudden. I'd say they're pretty close. I'm enjoying my cocktail on the pond. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Hey everybody, it's uh, July 4th today. Happy Independence Day. And I'm out here on the boneyard of my uh, cabin logs. And what I'm going to do is get my parts for a uh, vanity that I'm going to make for the cabin. So I'm going to filter through these. I'm still trying to save those really long ones. So I'm going to see what I can uh, use off of a lot of these shorter ones here. Well, I got my cut list and I really didn't have to dig into the long ones, which I'm glad. Um, but here's my pile. And, you know, I guess I kind of forgot how heavy these things are. So, I wanted to use the whole log. I may end up cutting them. Um, they're about anywhere from 7, 6, 7, 8 inches across. And they're all about 3 inches, 3 and a half wide. Because that's going to be a heavy bugger. And it'll still... I hate cutting through 
cutting through these, but you know, you'll still see the axe and the ad marks. Just be a little bit skinnier. I got my frame. Now I need to find some boards, some barn boards, for the countertop. Gosh, I wish I had a few to pick from. Give me slim pickings here. Just kidding. Oh, look who just ran out from the woods. Hey, sugar. Stay away from my corn, by the way. All right, here we are, Friday, July 8th. So I'll have my next food plot update coming out soon. I've pretty much been documenting it almost every single day. Um, things are looking up right now, so stay tuned for that. All right, we have a handful of new project videos coming out. Uh, one of them is the continuation of this Big Bertha, this beautiful cedar log that's going to go in the cabin. So our next mission is to move it from outside. I'm going to put it up in our big barn inside so that Sharon can do the final sanding and then um, put the clear coat on it. So this will be a cool little mini series. Eventually it's going to be in the cabin up front. so it'll be interesting it's always a challenge moving this thing trying not to damage it so I'm up on the deck show you a little bit better just how tall this guy really is okay so this big dead uh, pine has been kind of stressing us for a while now because it could fall on the house where it's at so we finally take a run at it try to save a thousand bucks and ha from having a tree service come um, so that's going to be its own video because it was a little bit of a process and it may or may not have gone totally smoothly. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be another fun weekend vlog video. That's only like 12 inches. Probably at least 14. All right, note to self. This uh, door that's sitting right here could actually be the sink in a small bathroom if I cut it off right here and just make it a little bit shorter on both ends all right so here's a little bit of behind the scenes this is how Sharon like kind of visualizes and lays out all of these barn wood projects and oak beam projects and cedar projects so this is, uh, of, I think, the vanity and the big bathroom for the new cabin project. But either way, I mean, she draws everything out. She visualizes it. This here, I'm not sure what that is going up like a vine. It's going to be like something natural, like bark or something else, you know, like on this mirror. But anyways, it's going to all be cool, rustic, and very interesting. So, um... Maybe down the road you'll you'll come by and visit us and rent our future cabin. So that would be a treat. Thanks. So here we are, June thirtieth of twenty two. We've got our family there of seven with five chitlins that are grown up now. And then our second family with one junior that's grown up now. They're they're starting to fly, they're taking lessons, it's kind of fun watching them, but we have this kind of love-hate relationship. They hiss at me still when I'm close, but yet they hang around close because I think they know it's safer near a human. But it was great to watch them grow up. Just very interesting. So another cool weekend project we got done was uh, this big tree has been dead for years and it used to give me shade here on our new gravel pad. So we're making room for a new willow tree. We're going to transplant a pretty good sized willow growing on the edge of our pond up to this spot which is a low spot so it'll help uh, give us more shade and it should do quite well in this low spot but 
it was an interesting project nonetheless it's always a little more than you think it's going to be but stay tuned for this one as well thanks so we got the uh, oak boards that i wanted for the countertop for the vanity and it's three right here it's going to take all three of them to get to the 23 inch width they are about two inches thickness so i think that'll work out pretty good and it is super hot it's in the 90s and really really humid so i am actually looking forward to getting a little wet with that pressure washer oh let's get cleaning